Hey guys, so I have here my JBL Live 650 BTNC wireless headphones and today I want to show you here how to perform a firmware upgrade on these headphones. So uh, in this case we're going to do this with an Android phone but in case you have an iPhone then it works exactly the same way. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to turn on the headphones and I make sure that they are paired to my uh, smartphone here. So you can see this in the top of the screen. And then I'm starting here the My JBL Headphones app. Uh, you, if you don't have this app yet on your phone, then you will find it in the Google Play Store or in the Apple uh, App Store. Okay, so I'm starting this app and there immediately the app finds the headphones. And you see here this little arrow that points down that indicates that there is a software or a firmware upgrade available. So now I can just uh, click on the arrow and then here it says firmware version 6.2.0 in this case. I click on install. Now it warns me that I need to charge my headphones first. So uh, before you start you have to have at least 50% of uh, battery left. So I'm going to plug this in really quick and I'm just charging the headphones for a couple of minutes so that we are over 50%. So now I got this done and uh, now it's going to reconnect to the headphones. And now we see here I have 70% battery percentage left. So now I can restart this process. I'm cl clicking on install and now it's going to download uh, the software from the internet. And then it's also going to automatically upload the new firmware to the uh, headphones and this takes quite a while so this took probably 10 minutes for me so I'm just going to put my phone down and the headphones down I'm not going to touch them at all so that there is nothing going on here I can't do anything wrong by just leaving them alone so and after some time it's going to say here restarting which also takes about two minutes so don't get impatient when you do this and press buttons or close the application or try to power cycle the headphones because it can only do something bad so after a while you see here the headphones will restart this led here on the headphones is going to go white and then it's going to go blue again indicating that it reconnected to your phone you see now the software or the firmware upgrade is complete and we're all set yeah i hope this video was helpful if you have any more questions leave a comment below and don't forget to check out my other videos about these headsets